Hey guys, Nick here. Welcome to the first video of this course. I'm super excited to be here and I hope you are as well. To begin developing Android apps, you're going to first need to download two pieces of software. The first is Android Studio, the official IDE for Android. What's that mean? An IDE stands for an Integrated Development Environment, which is essentially a piece of software that gives you a place to write your code and provides you with a bunch of cool tools to help you along the way. You're also going to need to, do, to install the Java Development Kit, which will allow you to use the language that Android apps are written in, Java. So to do that, go to this website. If you want to just look it up, you can go JDK8 and click the first link that pops up. You're going to want to go accept the license agreement. If you have a Mac, you can just click this download link. But if you have a Windows machine, you're going to need to find out whether you have an 86-bit or a 64-bit. And the way to do this is to go to this PC, right click, go to properties, and see right here, it says I have a 64-bit, so I'm going to click the 64-bit download. Now I've already installed this, so there's no sense in redoing it, but it's a fairly simple and standard install wizard, so you'll just click the download button and follow that. After that, go back to the Android Studio website and click the download Android Studio button. Now I have Windows and it automatically senses what kind of machine you have, so you're good there. You can read these if you want to, but does anyone really? There's no use in it. Now this can take some time depending upon what kind of machine you have. So I'm just going to pause this here for a little while. Alright, excellent. So when that's finished downloading, you're going to go ahead and click on that. And it should open up the install wizard. It's going to have a bunch of stuff to download, so again, you're just going to need to bear with it here and wait for it to do everything. It seems like a good time to point out that to use Android Studio and develop app Android apps in general, you're going to need to have a decent computer with at least 8 gigabytes of RAM. So if you don't have that, you're going to need to go out and purchase some extra RAM and the people at whatever store you go to should be able to help you install that to your computer. So, as you see, you should be getting a box that looks like this. Now, I have Android Studio pre-installed, so it has to go here and un uninstall the last version. But this is what you guys should get. Just follow through this, click all the next buttons, install. And this might take a minute or two, so just hang out for a second. Alright, there we go. Just click next and start Android Studio. Now this is as far as we're going to go in this video, and if you've made it this far, congrats, you're on your first step to becoming a real Android developer. If you haven't made it to this screen, then you must have run into some issue along the way. Feel free to ask me questions in the comments, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Thanks guys. See you in the next video.